Here's another excellent math counts problem. It deals with ratios and percentages. And this is the kind of problem kids need to do to really understand because it's going to show up again on the SAT or the ACT or other standardized tests. And so they're going to really want to know how to master these. So it starts off, there's a trust fund or an account with $45,000 that's divided into three parts in the ratio of 2 to 3 to 4. And then those parts are invested at 4, 5, and 6% interest, respectively. And we want to know how much is the total interest income the money makes after one year. So we'll start with the ratio part of the problem. And this can be confusing because we've been given the size, the relative sizes of the parts, but we don't have any way to relate that yet to the total. It would be nice if they told us, well, how much of each part was related to the total instead of to each other. So I'm going to label these parts A, B, and C, and we're going to take a look at each of them. Here's what I do know, that for every $2 in A, there must be $3 in B, and $4 in C, because I have to maintain this 2 to 3 to 4 ratio. So if I imagined an account, the smallest possible account that has whole dollars in it that could so meet these criteria, it would be a $9 account. Right? What I see from this is that A is actually two-ninths of the total amount, right? Two dollars out of nine dollars, or two-ninths, is what makes up A. And B is three-ninths of the total, and C is four-ninths of the total. These fractions are what's going to help me solve this problem, because now I can easily figure out if I have $45,000, what is two-ninths of 45000 well, I'm going to start off and just find one ninth of 45,000, and then I'll have the answer to all of these. So if I just divide this by 9, I get $5,000, and then it becomes clear what A, B, and C are now. A is 2 ninths, so that is 10,000. B is 3 ninths, which is 15,000. And C is 4 ninths, which is 20,000. And if we want to check our work, which we should, we can add these together to make sure they add up to 45,000. And sure enough, 10 plus 15 plus 20 is 45. And so, good news, check. We've confirmed that we've got the right answer for the first part of the problem. Now we go on to figure out the percentages. For A, we have $10,000 times 4%, which means we multiply by 4 and divide by 100. When we divide by 100, it's essentially removing two zeros, so 4 times 100 is 400. So this is the answer for A, the interest earned. For B, we do 15,000 times 5%. Again, percent means 5 over 100. We divide by 100 first, we get rid of these two zeros, and it's 150 times 5, which is 750. We do the same thing for C. And we get $1,200, and the question is asking for the total interest income, the money earned after one year, so I add these up. 1200 plus 750 is 1950 plus 400 is 2350 dollars.